guys, so today I wanted to go over what I've been working on this week and kind of touch base with you guys on the projects I showed you in the last video. So this is one of the tops I showed you. Um, it was made for a woven or a knit fabric. I used a knit fabric, um, it's the same one I showed you in the last video, but um, it has some things like a woven would usually use, like a facing for instance. Um, so I went ahead and just kept it. I was thinking about switching it over to a, um, a neck band. Um, but I chose to just keep it for now and see if I even like the fit of it. And I added, um, a cover stitch up here by the neckline and then again down here by the facing. Just to kind of give it a little bit more interest because, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty boring top. I mean, it's pretty plain. There's nothing really going on with it. So, I went ahead and did that. Um, overall, pattern seems fine. I haven't tried it on for the final fit, but the one thing, um, I'll tell you is that this has a ton of ease. So I didn't actually measure beforehand, which was a mistake on my part, so I had to trim it down quite a bit, but let me see. Um, my bust is 42 inches, so I cut out the largest size on here, which is size 20, and <laughs> let me show you guys what I actually um, ended up cutting off. I ended up cutting this big piece off here. This is the dolman, so like, this is from the um, sleeve all the way to the armpit area. This is two inches at my bust. So I cut off about eight inches. <laughs> and when I actually went back and measured the pattern after it was all done, it has about seven inches of ease in it. Um, <laughs> so there's quite a bit there, even for a woven fabric. Like this isn't even really super like stretchy or anything. So it's not like it's so stretchy that it just, you know, is stretching out all loose and everything. It's not at all. It's pretty stable actually. So for me to have to cough eight inches is pretty extreme. Um, I think anyways, like even for a woven, you'd think that you'd only need to cut, like, you still need to cut off like, what, six inches <laughs> for two inches of ease at the bust? So yeah, it was, it was quite a bit. Um, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to try it on later and see, and I'll show you guys. Um, this is the other one that I was working on, and <clears throat> it has been okay so far. Um, to be honest, I've been pretty lazy because I'm surging and cover stitching. I'm having to, like, surge together the side seams and, like surge the back and then I have to switch over and I have to hem um, the sleeves and then I have to go back and surge like the armhole and everything together with there's an underarm gusset right here but um, so I've just been lazy and haven't been really wanting to switch back and forth but I'm about halfway done and I know it's gonna turn out fine like I've sewn this one up before um, I just didn't sew one up that actually fit very well last time so this time I'm sure it's gonna be fine but this is um, the hem <laughs> that I um, did for this particular one and it turned out fine but from like looking at it because of the way the stripes are it looks like there's a million skip stitches but really it's just where like the black thread has lined up with the um, black stripe and so it just kind of looks a little crazy I think I'm just overthinking it to be honest I think that once it's on and you're wearing it like it looks a little worse on camera too but um, I think once you're wearing it, it'll be fine, but I just got to get done with it because right now it's tripping me out a little bit to even look at on camera. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. So I'm about halfway done with that. I'm hoping to finish this one tonight, you know, as long as nobody interrupts me, <laughs> which has been difficult, but yes. And then last night I started working on this guy here. So this is a Victoria's Secret bra that I bought a while back and it, um, I guess I put a price gun needle through the strap and I didn't notice it, of course. And I washed it a few times, wore it a few times, and then it slowly just kept unraveling right here. Like, the strap is terrible. So I barely got to wear it, which is good because that means that um, it's not, like, like it's nothing's distorted on it because I've barely worn it. So, like, the elastic and everything is still, like, the original length and um, the shape is still good. So, I said, I might as well put it to good use, and um, I'm actually going to be rubbing it off. Or actually, I should say, I did rub it off. Bam! <laughs> um, so this is um, what I have so far. I haven't tested it or anything yet. I haven't even transferred it over to paper, but um, I did rub it off. And if you guys want to know, like, why I'm using fusing, or um, even how I rub this off, because it is a molded cut bra, and I'm making one that has... Um, a seam as you can see like there's a side cup and that's the center cup here um if you guys want to know how I'm doing that like let me know because I was thinking about making a video on it but I don't know 
I'm not sure if um, anyone's really interested in it or not, so I didn't want to waste my time if no one's going to be interested in it. Like, I want to make videos that are actually going to be helpful to you guys, so let me know because I actually don't really know how to draft a bra from complete scratch. Like, I did it for my um, final collection in school. I did a lingerie collection. I made two underwire bras, but it was a lot of trial and error, and... <laughs> Um, I definitely wouldn't suggest the way I went about making it. Like, I didn't rub anything off for that, obviously. Um, it was all, like, my original patterns, but, um, yeah, it was, it was not an easy way to go about doing it. I know that for sure. Um, so if you guys want to know how to do this, um, let me know. If you're planning on going into fashion design, like, as a pattern maker or anything, unfortunately, <sighs> Most companies, like, they will rub at least something off. I have not worked for a company that has not wanted me to rub something off. And, unfortunately, I can't really turn them down on that. Like, I don't particularly like to rub things off in the first place. But, just because I think that you should just pay your pattern makers to make the pattern in the first place. But, mm, that's just my opinion. Unpopular opinion <laughs> for the industry. But, it is a useful skill to have if you're planning on being a pattern maker for a company. Because, you know, everyone does it. So, um, if you want to know how to do that, let me know. It is useful for some things like draped things just to even figure out how to do it. So it is a useful skill in general, even if you don't plan on rubbing everything off. Um, it's, you know, it's just useful to know. So anyways, so yeah, I'm working on that. I haven't started to do really much with it since I just did this last night, but um, I'm excited because I haven't made any bras for myself before. Actually, I really haven't made any like lingerie for myself before, which is really sad because I'm making it for like models basically <laughs> and that's it so um this is exciting for me so yay and then i took you guys suggestions and i am going to be making myself a ham i know i've been eating too but um someone I, i'm sorry i don't remember who it was but one of you guys um commented on one of my videos recently when i was talking about not having a ham and actually suggested i use someone else's tutorial here on youtube to make one so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that um i have this flannel here it's pretty good quality. It's like, I don't know if you'd really consider this a flannel. It's like a brush cotton though, whatever. Anyways, so um, this actually came from my job. So once again, I'm a pattern maker um, for a company here in Dallas. And um, anytime there's fallout, um, sometimes there's big scraps. Like this is a big, this is a pretty big scrap of fallout. Or maybe this was a miscut. I can't remember. But it was going to go in the trash. And it's like five layers deep. At least, yeah. It's five, five layers deep. Um, so I was just going to go in the trash. It's going to be a waste. So I, I go ahead and pulled it out. And I was like, nope, not going to the landfill today. And I decided I'm going to make myself a ham and probably a sleeve roll out of this. It's just one of those things that you just really need if you're sewing a lot. Especially like high-end stuff. Or you're wanting it to look high-end, you know. Um, you really need it. So I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. Um, it's not like it's going to be particularly difficult, I don't think. So I think it'll be, you know, save me some money at least. And... Give me something to do and show you guys too. So anyway, so that's my plan for that. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing um, with this guy here. But this is the same fabric that I used for that um, dolman top I just showed you guys. And let me show you guys what my friend picked me up. So I was talking about wanting um, some of these workout clothes and stuff. And she actually picked this one up for me, which is really cool. Because I really want to make this um, jacket. When I saw this, I thought it was so cute. And I was talking to her about it and she was already there and she just picked it up for me so that was super sweet of her glory if you're watching thank you um and i do like these leggings but i don't know how i feel about the skirt i don't know if it's really me it's very feminine looking i don't know in black they look cute though <laughs> i don't know i might use this i might not but um for the leggings anyways um but if not either way I'm, i plan on making some leggings out of these i think that they'll work well for working out and i really need some new ones anyways so i think i'm gonna make some out of that we'll see if i'm gonna use this pattern or not. i gotta decide um but i think that'll be cool i'm not planning on starting this though until i finish some things and then another thing i plan on starting as if i don't have enough projects going on is um a lingerie bag for the washing machine so these things always break they're always super cheap this zipper actually comes apart all the time in the wash and um, then your bras are all out in the wash, getting tangled with everything else in there. So I'm probably going to use this bolt of fabric. It's this thin mesh. Um, hopefully the holes are big enough to let water pass through easily. We'll see. But um, this actually comes from Walmart. Um, I bought this a few, let me think. I mean, it was quite a while back. It was a few years ago. But the Walmart um, in the, my hometown, um, they used to sell these bolts. They're like... 
see if I can find a tag. I believe it's the five yards for five dollars. I don't know where the where the sticker is at, but usually there's a sticker, but it's five yards for five dollars. Um, and they're just like random materials, like I swear they just throw in whatever they have left over and just make something out of it. Um, but I'm thinking this might work out well for um, for those mesh bags just to, you know, make it a little bit cheaper on myself. And I can use like better quality zippers and stuff so they don't break so easily. So anyways, I'm just going to use this, you know, kind of take the measurements off this and use it as a pattern to um, make myself a few of these. And obviously I can make myself a ton of them if they end up working out. So I'm excited about that because I definitely need them. So anyways, yeah, that's um, what I'm working on right now. Oh, and I bought this pattern a million years ago, and I'm thinking about um, finally sewing it up and just seeing. It's not really um, the cut that I like. Like, it looks pretty high up, but I'm going to give it a try and just see, like, what it looks like and if I like it and if it's a good fit. Because I find that um, just a lot of places in general don't have a very big um, back saddle. Like, they're, like, your pants are always slipping down in the back or... Um, you know, they just don't reach up high enough. Um, so if you're someone who's got like a big butt, you know, maybe maybe this pattern will work. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if it's a good one or not. If I actually do end up sewing it up. No guarantees though, because this is kind of like a really, really side project that I don't plan on doing right now. But um, I'm considering it, so we'll see what happens with it. Anyways, so um, let me go ahead and show you guys what that dolmen top looks like. Okay guys, here's the finished top what it looks like it's not bad actually um so up here this i don't know right here in this neckband like it kind of wants to flip in i think that might be from my stitching but otherwise the neck is pretty okay it is a little drastic of a of a shape right here i think that this just needs to come down just a bit to make it kind of like softer it was pretty drastic right here. Okay, first top of my sew and tell series has been completed finally. Um, and I think that I will be getting on the next top here pretty soon so I can show you guys that hopefully in the next video we will see. Um, but yeah, I think this was a, pretty much a success. See there, you can see kind of where it's flipping in right there, but overall, like, I'm not mad about it. I think, though, um, if any of you guys are going to make this top, just keep in mind that the um, the pattern is probably more intended for woven fabrics, even though it says you can use a knit. I would probably use a woven fabric next time. Drop this a quarter inch, and I would probably still take it, even though it's a woven, I would still take it in. Or maybe go down a size or two, um, just to kind of get rid of, because there's so much ease in this pattern. It's ridiculous. But, otherwise... Pretty good make. Probably I'm going to make it again. Um, if any of you guys have made this before or plan on making it, let me know. I'm kind of interested to see like what other people come up with for this top. I haven't done any Googling or anything like that to find out, so I'm interested. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, if you like this video, share it across your social media sites. And um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get a notification for the next video. Bye.